hello children very good afternoon today in this video we are going to see the second part of the lesson called adventures of don quixote so first we are going to see homonyms homonyms are spelled the same way but differ in meaning look at this picture children look at the first word ruler ruler can be used in two different ways the same word can be uh, understood and and also got different meanings in different context for example i have a 12 inch ruler king prem was a firm but just ruler now look at the word sink the ship sinks to the bottom of the sea i felt chained to the kitchen sink so both the sink are different in their meanings he had to tie her hands together tie me here tie means something we are in you know, example tie example and then i wear a shirt and tie at work that tie is very different and then i like we every night that may watch so here both the watches have different meanings can uh, gabriela can speak french fluently we we drank a can of coke each so in the first sentence can refers to an ability whereas second sentence the word can refers to the name of an object and nail the key was hanging on a nail by the door i have broken my nail so nail has different meanings the first one nail is uh, which is very common with the doors and the second one is like a nail uh, we have rose she has a rose garden sales rose by 20% over the christmas period so the first word the first two sentence it refers to uh, name of an flower name of flower and then in the second sentence it referring as an action it uh, that is the sales rose so rose is nothing but the past tense of rice ship there are two restaurants on both ship a new engine was shipped over from the us so in this first sentence the word is acting as a noun whereas in the second sentence it is acting as a verb let us see some more examples children ring he gifted me a ring please sit on the floor in a ring flowers blow in spring weather springs are often made of coiled hand saw is used for cut the wood i saw her yesterday in market police talks the thieves she plucked a grass stalk from the ground let's look at the book back exercise children uh, you can write it in your book itself the bandage was wound around the wound so the first wound refers to injury whereas the second word refers to a uh, past tense of wind there is a fair arts and craft fair this weekend so fair in the first two, uh, sense refers to good and the second one is competition exhibition the woodcutter saw a huge saw in his dream so here the first is a refers to the past tense of seeing and the second one is a tool for cutting wood write the right answers on the right side so right refers to the correct one and the second right is direction that is the right side the well was dug by a well known ring so the well refers to a deep hole that is dug to get water and the second one is a famous and then we have march past in march so march past is like uh, walking in a military manner and in march means that is the third month of year can you get me a can so can refers to a modal verb requesting permission and the other can is a vessel how long will the live fish live without food so live means living and not dead actually and live means remain alive she has tears in her eye in her eyes as she tears old photos so tears in the first uh, sense refers to the drops of liquid that come from your eyes and the second one is a verb which means pull apart to pieces with force i will be second in line 
वेट फॉर वन मोर सेकेंड सो द वर्ड सेकेंड रेफर्स टू नंबर ऑफ सीक्वेंस एंड ड्यूरेशन एज वेल नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू दि सिलबल सिलबल इज अ यूनिट ऑफ प्रनाउंसिएशन हैविंग वन वबल सॉन विथ और विथउट सराउंडिंग कॉन्सनस फॉर्मिंग द होल और अ पार्ट ऑफ वर्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर टू सिलेबल्स इन वाटर दट इज वाटर and look at the examples children adventure at venture three syllables courageous courageous three syllables incredible incredible four syllables night only one syllable hilarious he lay re us four syllables excitement excitement three syllables pleasant pes and two syllables imagine he match in three syllables shepherd ship heard two syllables entreat entreat two syllables now listen to the class clearly children you are going to listen to me carefully on adventure trips you can visualize the activities and draw the scenes in the given boxes there is a very famous quote by helen keller life is either a daring adventure or nothing adventure trips are all about making memories gaining more knowledge learning new things about the surroundings and about one's own self and making lots of great stories going for an adventure camp is the best way to get all these as it forces one to get out of their ordinary lives and try new things adventure camp basically means spending the nights in the tents and doing various activities at the campsite there are many activities included in camping to make it more exciting and interesting some of the activities are water activities bonfire rock climbing and mountain biking so if you look at water activities uh, if your campsite is near a water body then one can absorbing water skiing fishing swimming playing water volleyball and other such fun games bonfire this can be done during winter camping campers are made to sit surrounding the bonfire and talk about their stories or perform some acts such as playing some instrument or singing songs rock climbing this activity is meant to provide uh, both physical and mental challenges to the climbers and help them in learning new skills mountain biking just a few scratches and the trip can be memorable with a new experience of driving bicycles on forest roads now listen to the pictogrammer can you jump higher than this building yes because this building cannot jump what is more important to us the sun or moon the moon why the moon gives us light at night when we need it but the sun gives us light only in the day when we don't need it which fish is the most famous the starfish what can be smarter than a talking bird a spelling bee what is worse than finding off a worm in your apple spitting the other half out if you look at the words like higher more important worse so all this comes under degrees of comparison Uh, now i will i'm going to give you a short introduction of degrees of comparison we will see later when the regular classes start what, what is the degree of comparison to describe quantify modify or identify nouns or pronouns adjectives are used or reused adjectives have their own degrees called degrees of adjectives or degrees of comparison that compare one thing or person to another adjectives have three degrees of comparison positive degree of adjectives comparative degree of adjectives and superlative degrees of adjectives this is a very small example children for positive degree the cat runs fast comparative degree the cat runs faster than dogs superlative degree the cat runs fastest of all animals now we are going to do the crossword superlative adjectives children thank you children have a nice day